Hello everyone, nothing but Rodney here. Welcome to this game called Midnight Scenes. If you don't know, my first ever Let's Play was The Supper, <clears throat> which was created by the same developer who did this one. I am actually very excited about this one. I just, I just noticed that he has this game because I was like, what nice short game I could play. Claire Burns, age 29, she's about to discover what kind of horrors lurk in the darkness of a deserted road. I was wondering what game can I play that is like short and inter interesting and I was like, well, how about to check the developer that created The Supper, which was a, like a half an hour small indie horror game. And here we go, this is the first episode. If my knowledge is good enough, he did two of them. So if this if this game is good, I'll definitely play the second episode. A flat tire delayed Claire's trip. Little she suspects how this little incident will change her life forever, as well as her perception of reality. Oh, are we about to go insane? What do I do here? Do I... do I... okay? I did not expect that. I thought the radio was okay. I have a nice car though. Tonight's episode, The Highway. Let's see what the highway has to offer. This should be about like 15 minute... adventure that I'm very curious about. Okay, so we are stopping by a fence that got run, that got like a, a destroyed by this um, electric pole or how do you call it? An unexpected obstacle, a new delay for Claire. She might need to find some help to resume her journey as soon as possible. Fortunately, she noticed a signal pointing to a near emergency phone. Let's wish her luck. I wouldn't be saying that I wouldn't be standing that close to that electricity because electricity likes to travel. What is that? Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's perfectly normal, I guess. Is that a blood or just a ink? I hope it is an ink. Okay. What do I do in the car? Nothing much. Anything I can click? I don't really want to click on that electricity. Why would I do that? Well, oh yeah, it's buzzing. It's buzzing as well. I cannot cross it. So what do I do? What is that? Nope, that's still buzzing. How can I turn off the electricity? That's me a question. Okay, we have something more over here. There's more posters. Oh, that's that's normal. Is he missing? I, I think that says missing. Yeah. Oh, poor guy. How about this one? Oh, yeah, it's still missing, but it's ripped off. And this one is missing, but I can open that. I hope nobody will shoot me if I go, okay. Oh, no, no I didn't mean to. That's actually very terrifying. We have a blood, which is you. Do you have nothing to say about that? Just a picture, okay? Oh, that's the that's the family of the missing guy, of the missing kid. Oh, that's a is that? It's bold colors. Let me have them. Oh, they're they 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 they're real real. They're chain real good. I gotta say, you. There's no way I could just grab that from the side. I assume what's in that? Oh, I just untied that. Oh, there I have me a blanket now. And I opened that toolbox and I have me a hammer. Oh, that's such a... Okay. Can I use that hammer on this chain? I cannot. Anything else? There's a shovel and a pickaxe that's being chained as well. It's so unfortunate that there is that chain. What is that? Is that some kind of mechanism? Mechanismus, I guess? And this is the mechanism for to scare crows, I guess. Kraus, crows, I don't know how you pronounce that. Mm, okay, I did that. I did that. Why, why is that a thing? That's me a question. Well, I might find out eventually. 
that's a broken uh, broken broken uh, sweepy sweepy thing I don't know can I put the second hand oh yeah I can oh that just fell okay so let me do this I guess is that a thing does it work now I have no idea if that was correct but did it do something I don't know. Uh, can I tie it? Oh yeah, I can. Hell yeah. Woo! -hoo. Here we go. We solved the puzzle. Oh, that's some magical thing going on here. I can go inside now, which is wonderful. So, let me go in, I guess. Um, hello? Anybody here? There was an accident and there is blood all over the place, which is fucking nice. Will something pop out of nowhere? Let me just, let me see the pictures. Yeah, some ordinary farmers, I'd say. And they had a baby, which is lovely. And a beautiful car that is now crashed and full of blood. Is that a dead body in that bathroom? I hope not. Oh, they were building that 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 I. I Fuck me, I know how it's called in me language, but I just don't remember how it's called in English. Okay, let me go there. Uh, why did it turn off? How convenient. I cannot see the body now. Okay, let me leave then. That's fucking... Can I close the door? Is that a thing? He, she will enter that place, right? Oh, I wish I could close that door. So here we are. That's a thing. That's a lantern, I guess. I cannot reach that. Yeah, I... I know, I have me a something, a board, a plank, or some kind of something. Okay, so I have me a nail now. I'm sorry that I destroyed this beautiful thing. I still cannot reach there. How can I get there? Oh, wait a second. I can, I can, I can actually build me a board, right? <laughs> yeah. Unexpl can I... Oh, I can combine things. Okay. And here we go. Now we can go up. One by one. Let's see what is up in there. That's not a dead body, isn't it? I, I, that's just me to get me the lantern. There's nothing in here. Why is everything destroyed? And why did it say that she will be paranoid in the beginning? Is this all hallucination? That might be a thing. You never know. So I have me a lantern now, so I can go inside and I can have me some light. Oh, that's not good. I, I, I don't like anything about this. Hello? Are you okay? You don't look okay. Why is your... Why? You have a bandage? Oh my goodness. I hate everything about this. Um, like everything. Oh, I have me a key now. Um, that's... Nice, can I have the lantern? I cannot have that anymore. So, I just came into the random house to steal a key so I can get out of here quicker. It's pretty fucked up if I'm being honest. Because now I will have the bolt cutters and pickaxe and shovel is not in me interest. So I have me a bolt cutters now for some reason. Maybe to cut the electricity. Was I supposed to do so? Yeah, to cut this wire, right? Yes, and the electricity is off. And now I can cross, I can go by, and I can keep me on going. And there is a tree, there is a fucking... What? Oh, there was some kind of huge accident. Oh my god. Is everybody dead? Is everybody dead? That's a map of, of some kind or something? Um, alright. Hello? Ma'am, are you okay? Why are you watching this? How about their health? You're not being worried about their health. Not at all. I don't know what am I looking at. Yeah, just... Okay, That is that the guy he, who was missing? Probably. I should I should take me look at, I should take me a better look at the picture. What is that? Something crawl I cannot recognize that. I have no idea what am I looking at. Uh, what about this one? What is that? That's a map. Yeah, I said that already. 
I don't know where I'm at. Am I here or here? I don't fucking know, but I'll I'll try to stick that in me memory. So I will use that in the future if that's a thing. I don't know. Okay. Um, I can t pick me a phone. How about to call an ambulance? Nine nine one one nine nine one one or something. You know. No, nothing's a thing. Okay, so there's no signal. Oh my goodness! Whoa! Holy shit! You scared the crap out of me. Hello? Oh, are you? Okay. I mean, you're busy. I understand. What did you drop? Okay, a boy petting a horse. Nice, I guess. Shit, that scared really. Claire Burns, age 29, with great effort, she finally managed to push aside the fallen power pole and resume her journey. Still terrified, she stopped in the first gas station to contact the authorities and inform about the disturbing events she had just witnessed. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary was found by the police on that stretch of road. No sign of any crash or presence of any mysterious kid. The man living in the farm was found a bit drunk but in good condition. Not a single word was written in any newspaper about the horrors Claire witnessed that night. She went on with her life trying to convince herself that she wasn't crazy after all, that she probably just saw something not meant to be seen. Alright, midnight scenes, the highway. Fuck me, that, that little kid just got me goosebumps. Well, that was very well done, Octavi Navarro. It was very well done. I actually enjoyed it very much. And I wonder if the second episode, is it like a different story or uh, will, have some, will that have something to do with this one? Go support Pixel Shush. Shoo. Pixels, pixels, huh? They did a great job. I love that. Okay, so that's it. That's all that I have to offer you. That was a really quick one. That took me like 10 minutes to finish it. But it was lovely. I, I enjoyed it very much. Well, so thank you everybody so much for watching. If you have any games you'd like me to play, any short, long, anything, just let me know in the comment section below. Let me know in the comments also what do you think about this game because... Um, what, what do you think is behind that story? Don't forget to like this video and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Ciao!